Hey everyone, it's Christine and I'm back with week 59 weigh-in and I can't remember what week I am health-wise like uh, with uh, surgery-wise. I think I'm like 11 weeks post-op, which is great. I'm feeling great in that department. Scar is looking great. I make sure to moisturize it, but let's get into the weigh-in. So I weighed in this morning and like I said, I've been increasing my calories like my dietitian said because uh, before I wasn't happy. I was, you know, down to 1500 calories and um, just becoming really obsessed with food, which I didn't want to have to become that way just to lose weight. So I increased them to about 18 to 2000 calories, depends on the day, but I usually stick between that. And I weighed in this morning and it was a really good weigh in. I haven't had a weigh in like this in forever. I lost 4.4 pounds. 4.4 pounds. And I was eating more than I had in months. Like I was in, in uh, intaking so many more calories than I had before. And I was, and I lost all that weight. So it shows you like you can plateau because you are, uh, because your body is not wanting to lose weight because you're not eating enough. So I thought that was a really, really crazy, like I lost a pound last week and I was happy with that. And I thought I would lose another pound this week to, to step on the scale today and weigh 194.6 when I hadn't been down in the low 190s since my surgery. I freaked out. Like I thought that was really, really cool <laughs> to have been able to like trust myself with food again, like to be able to eat more food. You know, I'm not eating junk food, but I did go to the movies last night and I got, um, one of the little like meal deals. It's a, a small little popcorn. Like, you know how they have like the box and they fill that little portion it with popcorn. You get a little thing of Sour Patch Kids and then you get a little soda. I didn't drink the soda up. I had like maybe five sips of it. Um, they only, the only thing that they had that I would drink was the lemonade, but it was like so sugary that I just had like a few sips and I was like, mm, I don't want any more. So I bought a huge bottle of water and yeah, I had like maybe like eight, like eight little, um, I had eight starbursts. I had the calories cause I worked out yesterday. So, uh, I'm not going to feel guilty about having starbursts when I had the calories to eat it. So yeah. And I lost 4.4 pounds. You don't understand how happy that makes me feel. I know that's not going to be, that's not normal. I think my body's just readjusting to, you know, the, the different, uh, calorie intake and feeling like it can trust me to lose weight again. So I make sure to eat when I'm hungry right now I'm hungry. So as soon as this video is done, I'm going to go get something to eat. So yeah, I just been eating the same stuff like I was before, but just increasing the amount. Um, instead of eating half a bagel thin like I was before, I'll eat a whole bagel thin. Instead of eating three egg whites, I'll eat four. Uh, for meat, I won't, uh, I just don't scrimp, like, you know, you scrimp when you can because you want to save on calories. I don't do that anymore. If I want it, I'm going to eat it, but I'm just going to have it in moderation and not, uh, become obsessed with it. Because when I got obsessed with it is when I started to really scare myself as well as uh, start to question why I was losing weight again. And this whole journey was supposed to be to get healthy. So that's what I keep reminding myself every day that when I'm hungry, it's to feed myself to live. It's not to, you know, starve myself. It's not to, you know, get as small as I can. It's to be a healthy person. So yeah, it's, I'm really happy with those results. I will be happy with a half a pound next week if I lose that. Uh, but I didn't get um, to work out very often this week because I am moving. So I spent about three days packing and the stuff that you see on the couch and everything like that, that's like the very last stuff. I have like my TV still up and that's about it. So I spent like four hours, maybe five hours packing, you know, for three days. And I was like lifting when... I probably shouldn't have been lifting as much as I should, like that I was, but you know, I am free and clear to work out. So I kind of considered that, um, I would never have thought I would consider moving exercise, but hell it is exercise. You are bending, you're picking up, uh, you're p packing. It's my abs the next morning after packing the first day were so sore 
like as if I had just, you know, done like a big workout. So I considered that, you know, I'm burning calories there, so I'm not going to try and push myself to, to exhaustion. I went to the gym, not the gym. I um, did a, oh, excuse me, I did a crunch video yesterday that was on Netflix. It was like a dancing video. It kind of reminded me of Zumba, but they had three sections. There was a salsa section. There was a funk section where it was like, it was more like, uh, uh, like, I don't know. And then they had like a groove section where it was, you know, like, <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. If you have Netflix, I really recommend that you look at those videos. If you need a quick workout, they're usually between 30 minutes and 40 minutes. And that's just like really fast. Get your heart rate up, burn a couple of calories. I burned about 300 doing that. And I push the whole time. It's not like I'm like, oh, I'm doing it at home. So I don't have to go as hard. No, like I, when I'm done with a workout, I want to be sweaty. So I pushed as hard as I could during that video. And it felt awesome to get like my heart rate you know, doing uh, something other than being on the elliptical or something. I really want to get into Zumba when I uh, finally make the move back to Florida. I want to join back up um, LA Fitness and start going back to spinning and going back to uh, Zumba and all my other classes that I used to love going to, but I can't go to those here because there's not a gym that has those accessible to me like down the street like it was in Florida. So I can't wait to join the gym there. But yeah, it's been a great week in food. I never felt deprived and it was a nice change because I started to feel deprived and that's when I started to feel like I needed to, you know, eat as much as I could, you know, kind of like I felt uncomfortable um, with food for some reason and it was like feeling really nervous, like making me really nervous about it. So um, after increasing my calories is such a dramatic change. So... If you've um, had experience in any things that I was, I would really recommend that you maybe increase your calories a little bit if you're using the Lose It app, maybe, and you've already lost a, a lot of weight, maybe can you, you can switch up the settings. I switched mine to a pound a week, and I, I'm i loving it. You know, if I don't lose a pound a week and I lose half a pound, it's it finally feels like I don't have to lose a bunch of weight each week. Uh, it finally feels, you know, normal to lose a pound, to maintain, to lose a pound, it finally, I can finally accept that I'm not going to be able to drop weight as fast as I was before. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I, I will catch up on my videos. I want to see how you guys are doing. Um, oh my gosh, Little Fat Me blog posted a video last week of the baked apple. I made that today for a snack. Holy crap. So good. I used, uh, I sprinkled cinnamon on top of mine. Uh, just to give it a little more flavor, like cinnamon apples, because that's my favorite. Holy crap, so good. If you haven't seen her video, uh, I'll link it in the bottom bar so you guys can go watch it. It's really, really fast and simple. And it is, if you put like a scoop of like ice cream with it, I'm sure you probably would be addicted to it. That sounds good. I think I might make that meal tomorrow. But I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.